Yeah, isn't it? Isn't it a song? It's like, guess who's back? Back again. The man behind the mask. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, the man behind the mask. Whee! Let's start. Four footnotes. Okay. I think Mistaya was shaken by the fall of the chandelier and decided to take time off. Who who is who is saying all of this? Like, yeah, who? Who who who? who? My dog. Okay. Ah! Ooh! Ah! E! Lie! All lies! What could have possessed me to believe such a foolish story? I honestly, honestly don't know. I think it was pretty dumb, but... You know, you, you lost your dad, you were all alone, and you were... Looking for someone to lean on. Ba -da -ba, ba -da -ba. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just gonna continue here before I make a fool of myself. What's that? An envelope? Oh, two footnotes right there. Nice. Louis Philippe or Louis Philippe. Uh, the first was the King of France from 1830 to 1848. That's 10, 18 years? Just 18 years? Did he die or did he give up? After Napoleon's resignation, he became popular among the people during monarchial restoration and was proclaimed king after the July Revolution. However, the workers became extremely miserable during his reign as economic conditions deteriorated. As the government failed to take measures, Louis Philippe I was forced to add abdicate after the outbreak of the February Revolution in 1848. Ah, okay. The style under King Louis Philippe was known as Louis Philippe style. Very imaginative. During his reign, the neoclassicism and romanticism contended to become the dominant style in various areas such as literature, art, music, and etc. And etc. is not you don't need the and you can you can just say mu music comma etc because that makes etc makes the end pretty redundant but all right so, mm. literature yes i can read is this a letter for me maybe right um let's look at the other footnote <laughs> What the? This is nice, but this little gno gnome, gnome here is very sweet with the monocle. Really, really nice picture. <laughs> Vanitas. Wait, that's a manga. <laughs> the case study of Vanitas also is an anime, but I read the manga. I haven't finished it though, but I absolutely fucking love it. It's so good. <clears throat> the Latin word, word. Tevert vanitas means emptiness, futility, or worthlessness, so it describes me. A vanitas is a symbolic work of art that depicts both symbols of wealth and death in a contrasting manner. Every object depicted on vanitas was a symbol, and the most commonly used symbol was a skeleton motif used to represent death. Uh -huh. Catastrophes during the end of the Middle Age, such as the plague, natural disasters, famine, must have reminded people to reflect on life, death and futility of it all. Of course, this is just my presumption. Memento mori. Remember that you will die. There's a nice uh, song about that. Uh, I think it's called Memento mori. It's like one day you'll look at the ceiling above. If you're lucky, you will be surrounded by the ones that you love. Something it's, it's pretty cool. I like the song. It gives me comfort. Anyways, there's nothing but a small spider in here. Huh? It's empty, just like my soul. It's just an ordinary lamp. Goodness, why is this portrait torn? My goodness, wait a minute. This ink stain. This is the score I lost. Aha! Did he smell that? Or <laughs> there are books on elementary French and etiquette. Use hints to discover leads to help you find the text story. Oh, because there are no cats here, we found find scrap letters, huh? Alright. Why is there such a huge table here? I don't know, Christine. 
Maybe he wants to eat and not on the floor. <laughs> Idiot. Seems to be a bit clunky. There doesn't seem to be many French books. Is that my dog or is that the game? Itchy, what's this? I have only three hingelegt. One, two, and three. It's fertig. I think it's my dog in the real world. I put down food because he was nice and now he looks for more food, but <laughs> I only put down three pieces and he's like, where's the rest? <laughs> Where does uh, order frame? It's stuck to the wall. Aha. Okay, cool. Let's read the letter. Dear Christine, this messy handwriting. <laughs> Is this? Uh, all right. <clears throat> Let me be ready. What? Oh. What does it say? Ring, ding, 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 ding. I was too fast and furious to see that. I was right there on the edge. Christine. That's my name. Don't wear it out. <laughs> I thought it said stinky. <laughs> the stinky. Destiny. Angel of music. Love. Love is the greatest thing. Eric. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> my beloved Christine. My beloved your destiny has finally crossed paths with me. <laughs> oh, mine. <laughs> okay, that was my mistake. Sorry, I was a bit distracted by the your destiny that wasn't, you know, properly put away from the your. Once you open your eyes, uh, you might be unfamiliar with what you see. But have no fear. I am different to any of those earthly men. But you are an earthly man. And to be fair, fairly frank... Men are just men. <laughs> Although your angel of music has returned to heaven, his splendor and genius are still with me. Whenever you feel the need, I will continue our lessons together. Please rest and wait until I return. I hope you feel safe in here. Yeah, very safe. What the fuck? I shall conclude this letter as I try to suppress my deepest love for you, Eric. What the fuck? You're 50 years old, dude. This is... Gross. <laughs> She's 20. <sighs> he has you now, Christine. You're brilliantly fucked. And not in a good way. I've been fooled, toyed with, and kidnapped. When all this blah, 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 I did was believe in him. I will never believe in a man again. That's a good uh, Einstellung. <laughs> I trusted him. Trusted him. Yeah, that was stupid. But... To be fair, you should not stop trusting people just because someone betrayed you. Because there are good people out there, Christine. I mean, I, I, I trust a lot of people and I get betrayed. I got betrayed many times in my life, but I still try to trust people because, you know, they haven't done anything yet. But person C over there did. I don't trust them. <laughs> <laughs> She's laughing, okay. Father... Please don't tell me this is your way of trying to test me. What the fuck? I know we're in like whatever century, the 1830s or something, but and religion is huge, but come on, your dad is dead. Were you aware of how this was going to end? Were you aware? Were you aware? Goes on both knees, one finger to the sky. Why did you send me a devil instead of an angel? Well, it's a it's a phantom in the first place. Why are you never fond of me? Answer me, goddammit! But he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Answer me. This is all my fault. I let him fool me. I brought this all upon myself. All of it. This is the jewel song. I promised to sing to my friends and forgot all about it. They must be worried sick as I just disappeared all of a sudden. Well, you did leave a note of absence, so... Okay, enough crying. I must regain my composure. I must escape before he returns. How can I escape from here? Calm down. Let's look around. This is no time to panic. Alright. Let's panic. Ah! I must find a door. Wait a minute. 
The score lost. Yeah, we looked around before. What is this? I don't know this language. English. Such a soft, warm bed, but it's empty. Empty inside. Let's look at this because it sucked the wall. No, okay. What the fuck? Wait, I've seen this face somewhere before. That? This one? Whoever this person, they must be, must have phenomenal willpower. <laughs> what? What the fuck? She says she's seen this face before. What the? Huh? Who's that supposed to be? This looks very eerie. A still painting of a skull. I don't know. It looks kind of nice, actually. And what is this supposed to be? It's destroyed, but is that... That's... You know, I never understood this, though. Like, as cool and artistic as it looks that the painting is destroyed and it hangs up there because it shows that the person who destroyed the painting goes through emotional turmoil and is in complete pain when they did it. Ah, all the emotions, you know. Like, it looks cool, but the thing is, why don't you hang it down after a while? Like, I, I don't understand that, really. If I destroyed the painting, right? I'm very angry or whatever, upset, doesn't matter, and I destroy the shit and whatnot, and then I calm down. Wouldn't you hang the picture down after a few days or weeks? Because they usually hang up there for forever just to remind you of, hey, you, you, you destroyed me once, remember? Like, wh why are you not putting the... <laughs> picture down <laughs> why is it still up there just to look cool oh so avant-garde anyways <laughs> hang on why is there a gap here ah oh, another sequence all right bling bling <laughs> so that's how it works There's a door! Whoa, <laughs> she was running. Fushi! Um, but. But what if he's waiting behind that door? I must leave silently. I mustn't make any noise. Uh. Ah! <laughs> a tuff tuff. Is this not outside? Ah! I can't breathe. I must find a door out that leads out. Uh, but, I mean, my English is bad, but <laughs> that just takes the cake. <laughs> that a dragon, and it eats cake. <laughs> Whoa, that's a dragon. That dragon definitely takes the cake. <laughs> and he probably ate it too. <laughs> a dragon eating a cake. Anyways, let's let's find the door out that leads out. <laughs> What's this? It's a skull! It's a real skull! How do you know it's real? Maybe it's made out of plastic or something, and even if it is real, it's not that scary. Ah! Ah. She was like, I shouldn't make too much noise, and then she screams like a mad woman because she sees a skull. Okay. It's just bones. Ah. Ooh. Hello! <laughs> Christine, come closer to me. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that was a pretty cool room. <laughs> I would love to go in there once again. Anyways, how you doing, dude? How's it going? What the hell? <laughs> I hear sounds, but that's not me. <clears throat> Christine, you're up. How do you feel? He's like a fuckboy the way I read him, right? Like, hey, <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> no need to fear, my love. I only wish to hear your beautiful voice, that is all. <sighs> Christine, you're shivering. Are you cold? Do you fear me? That's... <laughs> Please don't harm me. Please. I'll do anything I beg of you. <laughs> Christine, please get up. Darth Vader once again. As you're already aware, I love you so very deeply. Ugh. 
Blech. How could I ever possibly hurt you? Hmm. Uh, you... you love me? Yes, Christine. You haven't the slightest clue of the true depth of my love for you. In the Time Princess dress up... Dress up Time Princess, Magic, whatever app game. They also have the Phantom of the Opera story. But there it is not as creepy. <laughs> I guess this is closer to the... Um, Original to the book or whatever, whatever it's based on. And that's fine, because it's not love what he has, it's obsession. It's absolutely fine. But in, uh, in the app game, the other one I played, uh, Eric is more like 20 years old too. Like he's around your age, or at least he looks like it. And here it's just straight up an, <laughs> an old guy being like, young girl, mm, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just very... Ugh. Anyways, when you very first arrived at this opera house, I claimed myself to be an angel to get closer to you. I couldn't let such a dazzling jewel be buried under such grief and lose its light. As we progressed through our lessons, you started to shine even brighter, eventually. Even music couldn't contain my love for you anymore. Yeah. Before I brought you here, I felt truly relieved. Relieved, you say? Upon seeing you searching for me among the debris, debris of the chandelier. But she was looking for you so you could help. Like, what? That was enough for me. The flames, shattering glass, the awful screaming. It all faded into the background, and I only saw you standing before me. Okay? So please, feel safe, my love. <laughs> he just straight out said like, Oh yes, screaming, people burning in front of me, everyone dies, feel safe here. <laughs> like, what? This is a safe place, a true haven from all earthly dangers. What will happen to me? Ah. Uh, Christine. Uh, I just gotta be listening. <laughs> you are the one I love. How could you possibly compare yourself with those intruders? You are my guest. My most esteemed guest. <laughs> bum bum. How could you say such wicked things so nonchalantly? I believe this fiend was my angel. But... but What's going to happen to me? <laughs> oh, I'm just walking through you. Christine, please don't be worried. Just promise me one thing, and you'll forever be my honored guest. For forever? What promise? Uh. Never lay your hands on my mask. Mask? Yes, I understand. Understand. No, oh, but, uh, <laughs> You seem exhausted. Please rest, Christine. I'm exhausted. I'll go sleep. <laughs> I love how his body disappeared first, but the legs still were there. <laughs> um, I have never felt more suffocated. How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. <laughs> I had nowhere to run. Why was he so concerned about his mask? Perhaps... Could he be someone I already know? Uh, He may be someone I know. Someone around me. Turns out it's Raoul. <laughs> it was him all along. Ah! Otherwise, how was it possible for him to fake a phantom and kidnap me? What? Uh, what? What does that mean? What? How? What? Huh? Does she mean... How was it possible for him to... To write the letters to the people and scare everyone that there's a phantom. Oh, how was... Oh, okay, now I get it. How was it possible for him to fake the existence of a phantom and kidnap me? Even though the kidnapping part is a completely, entirely different story from faking the existence of a phantom, but... Um, yeah, good. Yes, he must have worn the mask to hide his face from me. 
Yes! That's what typically a mask is used for! <laughs> Obviously, girl! <laughs> like, that's... Yes! Why would someone wear a full facial mask? Like, to, to cover the face so that you don't know who it is? That's the point of a mask! Unless you're talking about a COVID mask. That, that, that. Yeah. Uh, I can't believe there was such a devil among my acquaintances. The devil is not evil. He just rules over the underworld or whatever. Hell. Where his job is to make sure that everyone gets his punishment or whatever the fuck. He's not really evil. The devil is not a bad guy. Just like Hades. They're pretty chill usually. They're usually the most chilled guys. Because they're like I think they're the closest to humans than any other if you god or celestial being. Because they're so close to death, which which is a very human thing. I I'm completely getting off track here. We could philosophize about that all day, but what is that box? <laughs> it's a box! Yes. What should I do with the box? Well, boxes are usually there to open them or store things in them or, you know, you can also shit in it. If you're really desperate. May I open it? Yeah. I may- it may be alright. After all, he did say I'm a guest here. I mean, he put it down for you, didn't he? There's a finger in here. <laughs> Just cut off finger. Food and daily necessities in this small fucking box? Okay. But she doesn't have a stove. What is she supposed to eat the entire time? Bread? I mean, there's nothing wrong with bread. Bread is awesome if you have the right one, but it gets boring if you only eat that for days and days and days on end. You need cheese and, I don't know, butter and sometimes some warm cooked meals is, 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 is nice. Anyways, there's nothing dangerous in here. Phew, I guess. I don't know. Then I must live here till the end of my days? No, maybe even after my death. Will I be able to escape? No, calm down, calm. <sighs> Poor girl. That sucks. Just, ugh. Christine. You're crying. Hmm. Weird. Eh. I'd never wish for you to live your life trembling in fear. Or with fear. Um, maybe this will help. Would you like to sing a song? <laughs> this is like talking to a toddler. <laughs> like, don't, don't cry. You want to sing a song? You want to play with your little ducky? Huh? A song? <laughs> Please, Christine. Sing the jewel song for me. Right in front of me. You'll feel less tense doing something you're the best at. The music scores on the music stand. Okay. That's so fucking awkward. I should still try to get out of here alive. Why is this such a... Is there anything? I don't know. No, I don't see anything. I'm just checking your footnotes up here, but there's nothing. Alright. Sing? What the hell is wrong with that guy? I mean, he kidnapped me, but singing? Uh, I'll begin. Oh, good. That was marvelous, my love. You seem much less tense now. It was very short. You sang beautifully, and I shall gift you with a prize. A prize? <laughs> Ask me anything you want. Anything, except about myself. Then... But that's the most interesting part, Eric! <laughs> Eric! You dickhead! When will you let me go? Ah, you're welcome to rest here longer. Do you already wish to leave? Ah... Uh, five days! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Spend just five days with me, and I will send you back up. That is, if you keep the one promise I ask of you. Not to touch the mask? I will. You told me not to touch your mask. I understand you must be rather curious. Not really. <laughs> but curiosity can often be a bad trait, Christine. Curiosity is what killed the cat. 
and the rest of the thing I forgot because that's just half of what people always quote, you know? People are stupid and so am I because I don't remember the rest. This is a part that no one ever uses. Curiosity killed the cat but the 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 I don't know. <laughs> this mask is my life, my pain and my own personal hell. So never be curious about it! Wait, then I already lost. I'm curious about it, but you know, if a strange weirdo kidnaps me and shit, and then it's like the only thing you're not allowed to do is touch my fucking mask, like take it off of me, then I'm like, alright, as, as curious as I am, I won't do it. Eh. If you ever unmask me, you shall no longer be considered my guest. Then I will kill you. Or like, hold you here hostage forever. <laughs> Anyways, please make yourself comfortable for the next five days. <laughs> okay, <laughs> alright. Send me back up. Does that mean we are underground? <sighs> She's very perceptive at times like these. Five days, and then I can get out. I'll bear it until then. Thank you.